In this video, we'll talk about supervised learning. So basically, supervised learning problems can be grouped into classification and regression problems. A classification problem is when the output variable is a category. For example, if I feed the computer with a lot of pictures of cats and then label them as cat, then I feed the computer with pictures of pandas and then label them as wild. So the computer knows what a cat and a panda look like. These are called training data. So if I input this new cat into the computer, it can tell me whether it's a cat or a panda. This new cat is called testing data. So if you feed enough pictures or information to the computer, a classification model in supervised learning should be able to tell you whether an online transaction is fraudulent or not. It should also be able to tell you whether a tumor is malignant or benign. Another kind of supervised learning model is regression. A regression problem is when the output variable is a real value, such as price or weight. For example, if I input students' study times and their corresponding grade into a computer, a linear regression returns me y is equal to 0 0.818 plus 59.09, where x is the study time in minutes and y is the quiz grade. I can use this model to make predictions. So if someone studies 0 minutes, he or she can still get 59 marks for the quiz. You may realize that regression is trying to generalize results from some data. Therefore, prediction may not be correct. Let's take a look at another example. These things all look similar. If I put a sign x over odd numbered and then divided by the same thing in the middle of the formula, it seems that until 13, I can always get the answer pi over 2. However, when this odd number is 15, then the answer is a bit less than pi over 2. Therefore, if we try to generalize results from the previous input, there may be mistakes at the end. In machine learning, the computer will generalize a rule based on your data. If you do not have enough data, the rule may not be correct, and at the end, it will fail to predict results of new input. Thanks for watching this video. Remember to follow our course Instagram page at CCST1968.